like way this more is control. impressive this you got way more stability on this just like for your impressions how much of a difference is it really honestly huge really huge like immediately immediately I'm gonna go buy one right now <laughs> <laughs> have one made that's a pretty cool deal something no this is night it. and day night and day <laughs> you think about the axis point, right? So like yeah. this bipod's back here, and this is here, it's gonna tilt a lot easier backwards and more yeah. muzzle flip, right? Yeah. But if this is way out here, your gravity's now resting out in front. Mm -hmm. So on this big magnum without a break, it's, it's, it's just, yeah, it's just like, a, I shot it earlier with this back. magnum off of this one. And very light. And hit all of these out here, and then I walked over to that one and just ran five rounds with him. And I went four out of five off of those barrels with nothing but this. No bags, no nothing. Just ran it like that with the bipod. You see? And he was like, "That's freaking impressive." He's like, "What is that?" And I was like, "It's a three hundred wind mag." He's like, "Holy crap!" <laughs> yeah. Howdy, guys. Rex here. Today we're taking a look at the fast chassis. I know a lot of you guys are waiting for this review. Uh, here we go. This is from Accuracy Solutions. A lot of you have seen the other reviews with the uh, detachable bipod extension, the Pod XT device that you can put on the forend of your rifle and extend the length of your bipod out more farther forward. We'll talk about why that's helpful for certain situations in a minute. Uh, the FAST chassis is actually an acronym. It's the Font Coperta Advanced Sniper Tactical Chassis. Uh, it's actually a collaborative effort between three different parties. World-renowned shooter, master sniper instructor, Mr. Eduardo Abril de Fontcuberta. Uh, he uh, instructs the RX-3000 class. He has quite a resume. You guys can look him up if uh, you don't know who that is. Also, McCree Precision LLC and Accuracy Solutions LLC. So these three outfits got together and put together this uh, fast chassis, okay? Now, Eduardo is primarily the creator of the extreme long-range competition known as the King of Two Miles. He's the director at Steyr Arms Training Academy. He's also the author of that book that everyone's trying to get a copy of, 100-plus sniper exercises. And those books are going for over $500 on eBay now, if you can even find a copy. Um, Cree Precision has been manufacturing top-quality, patent-protected firearm solutions for decades. Accuracy Solutions have been working on rifle stabilization technology with some of their unique, out-of-the-box thinking and the concepts like the Bipod XT. Uh, so with the combined wealth of knowledge from all these different guys coming together, um, they've really fused something that you can describe as kind of a, a game-changer for certain applications, particularly, and it's a fast chassis system. Uh, the fast chassis, to be real quick, incorporates Accuracy Solutions proprietary bipod extension system, the Bipod XT, into a modern rifle chassis designed to optimize the shooter's stability. It also helps a lot with recoil mitigation and increased performance during follow-through on different shots. It's currently actually being fielded by a variety of domestic and foreign law enforcement personnel and military personnel, as well as some competitive shooters and enthusiasts. Uh, one of the advantages to this system is basically just the geometry, okay? Uh, when you look at a, a bipod being deployed, typically you're supporting the toe of the rifle stock with the toe support bag of some kind or your hand. The front of the rifle usually has a bipod, artificial support mechanism in the front, and when you increase the distance from the front two legs from the rear, it's really a tripod that's getting wider. So it's a hell of a lot more stable, and it takes a lot more wiggling on the rear end of that system in order to translate in your bore axis being shifted off target. Uh, so it's basically using the lever fulcrum axiom designed to take that moment of force at the short end of the lever and moves the fulcrum further onto the long end of the lever, getting it closer to the muzzle. And the result is basically that the shooter's unintended movements down along the end of the lever or the muzzle are dramatically reduced, okay? So in its contracted state, the distance from the recoil lug to the bipod's attachment point is 14 and a half inches. At its extended state, it's fully extended state, and it's adjustable anywhere in between there, uh, from recoil lug to the bipod attachment is 29 and a half inches. As you guys know, it's kind of hard sometimes to get into a perfectly stable position, especially if it's unconventional, okay? If you're not laying perfectly prone on the ground, we have a nice solid obstacle to go off of. You're sometimes forced just by the situation 
to get the front end of the rifle stabilized and you might have to completely support the rear end of the rifle without any artificial support mechanisms. Now, what happens is, in any kind of shooting, uh, if you have any wiggle on the back end of the rifle, even when the bipod is deployed solidly on the front of the rifle, when you wiggle that buttstock around on the rear end, it's gonna wiggle quite a lot. Now, when a standard bipod, when this thing is contracted, let's say you wiggle 1 32nd of an inch. That's a very small amount. That's pretty realistic for someone getting into a firing position with a rifle, trying to get real steady. 1 32nd of an inch movement at 1,000 yards is gonna translate to a four foot circle, okay? Your point of impact shift is almost four feet if you work out the trick. Now, if you extend the length of that bipod forward in front of the rifle, a 32nd of an inch movement at the rear of the rifle, the same exact movement is gonna reduce that miss to about 22 inches. That's only, that's like half as much. That's like two feet, okay guys? A little less than two feet. So it's a lot more stable, just geometrically speaking. Now, when you guys lay down behind one of these, is when you're really gonna notice it. And I've had the opportunity to see a lot of different professional shooters, military snipers, and a lot of people with a lot of experience lay down behind these and, and with the same attitude I originally had when I first uh, heard of the concept. I thought, well, no, that makes sense, but it's not gonna make that big of a deal. But when you actually get down behind it, within two seconds, you immediately understand the value. <laughs> it's very, very inherently stable. You have to move around a lot to get your crosshairs to wiggle and so it's very easy to take a real hasty fast shot over an obstacle or even if you get that front end of that bipod jammed up in some tree branches or into some kind of obstacle or if you hang it from some ropes in an urban hide in the back of a room uh, just by having that extended uh, lever arm and with your fulcrum being way out in front uh, it really really changes how the whole thing feels and it, it stabilizes it a hell of a lot. You can look into the eyeballs of guys that tried it the first time. Uh, Charlie Milton, Navy SEAL sniper instructor, retired now, a friend of mine, when he came uh, to one of our seminars, we had one of these there and he looked at it and his eyes just kind of lit up and he said, oh, I see. <laughs> so it's something that's not a joke, it's a real deal. The cool thing about the fast chassis is you get this bipod extension built into the stock. So it's not as cumbersome as the bipod extension, which is nice because you, if you have a different stock preference, then the McCree, you can you know use the bipod extension, but it's nice to have it built in, in all honesty. I don't like a huge footprint, and this keeps it uh, to a minimal size footprint. It's actually very solid. The carbon fiber tubes uh, are very, very thick. It's all made in the US. This isn't the cheap Chinese carbon fiber. Uh, some of the original prototypes they were messing around with originally, they were trying them out, uh, didn't work out that well. So they went with the American made stuff. It's a little more expensive, but it's a hell of a lot more rigid. There's very little discernible flex, even at full extension. It's actually pretty darn solid. We had a gentleman come to one of our RX-1000 uh, training courses up at Buffalo Gap, and he actually flew up from Texas, and he's an older gentleman, he's a senior, and there's a lot of other young guys there that were in pretty darn good shape. And this old guy was actually in, still in pretty good shape. He's still working hard. Uh, he still has his pilot's license. He brought his Accuracy Solutions Fast Chassis to the class. And when we got to the portion of the class where we run through a series of different targets at different distances, and you have to transition from one target to the other, and you get one shot per target, not only did he hit the most targets during that drill out of anybody in the class, he actually did it much quicker than anybody else did too. And I think that a huge part of that, uh, aside from probably his experience, he's probably been shooting for a while, but um, having that, that chassis really does help you get on target quickly. You don't have to jimmy around and even mess with the toe support when you have this thing fully extended. If, if you got the setup where you can extend it all the way, it depends on what angle you're laying at. If you get that thing out there, you just get your crosshairs on the target and you can hold it with your uh, non-firing hand. You can make a fist or whatever, and that's plenty solid enough. You don't really even need the sandbag to get a real steady position. And so that speeds up your time on target acquisition a lot. That's why a lot of the tactical guys, a lot of the police and the military guys that have been fielding these actually really like them because you can get into a hasty position real quick and just the geometry doesn't require you to have to get like into a bench rest kind of a situation. It really, really extends the stability of that platform. And so let's take a look at some of the other features real quick. Uh, it has a rock solid folding buttstock mechanism. I've been trying this on several different platforms, a standard Remington 700, had it on an Axial Precision, and now I got it on a custom rig. A few different platforms I've tried this on. Also, uh, some one of the original prototypes 
we were uh, playing with down in Arizona, uh, was on a 300 wind mag. And the, the recoil is way different when you have the fulcrum in the front as well. When the rifle is not balanced in the middle, where it's easy for that rifle to teeter-totter and recoil up along with the, with the shooter, due to the ergonomics of the rifle and the direction of recoil from the axis of the bore, when that fulcrum's way up front, it doesn't bounce up near as much. And so it's a lot more stable under recoil, which is also very helpful. It didn't need any kind of muzzle brake. Even on a large recoiling rifle, it's very stable when you shoot it. When we had it out at the range, uh, basically your crosshairs might wiggle a little bit, but they're still right on the center of the bullseye even. So uh, it's very, very, very stable under recoil as well. Uh, the folding mechanism works great. Of course, the McCree rear end has adjustable length of pull, adjustable cheek pieces, adjustable butt pad height. Uh, the rear bag rider and monopods are readily available, which I actually really like the way McCree has their set up. It's um, adjustable if you are able to get into a nice bench rest position. It has a totally adaptable forend, which is nice and modular. I actually like to run the AccuTac bipods. They have their bench rest bipod that has a wider stance and it actually points the legs of the bipod when it's situated with the fast chassis straight at the center of the, the axis of the bore, which makes it very, very inherently stable. And so I really like the setup in combination, particularly with the AccuTac bipod. This is like really, really, really solid. Of course, I said before, it has the Arca Swiss rail with additional mounting points. That rail is built the entire front end. If you wanna attach any kind of other accessories to the bottom of the forend, you have five 10 by 32 tapped holes there to serve whatever needs you might have. Now these chassis do come with the M level leveling system. It's a bubble level in the chassis, which is nice. They're under your eye. All you have to do is kind of take a glance down. You don't have to lift your head up above the, the line of sight to see if you're level or not. You can just take a quick glance down and see if you're level or not. If you want more information on the particular setup with the McCree chassis, you can look at McCree's website. Be sure to look up their self-aligning W bedding. It's actually a pretty good way of accomplishing that. It's a patented self-lining W bed that eliminates a lot of your traditional bedding needs. The thing is built from American Source 6061 T6 aluminum. It's also sourced with a 3K carbon fiber tubes, and it's compatible with most of your popular Remington, Savages, Tikas are usually in stock, and the Stiller TAC 408, and even JJ Rock stuff. So they got a, a, quite a few different uh, options there for whatever rifle you might be running. Even uh, with less popular actions that are available, uh, they can typically ship out within two to four weeks if you want something kind of fancy for something more unique. And there's a, a list of all 55 different actions available if you go to the website. And I want to reinforce that this thing is made in the USA. That was a decision they wanted to make sure they executed on for a long time. And being made in the USA, it's, gonna, it's actually really good quality, a little bit more expensive than it would be if it was Chinese. It's built very, very nicely. All the raw materials are sourced and proudly manufactured right here at home. My overall impressions of this thing are that it's incredibly handy for a guy on the fly that's gonna utilize non-conventional firing positions. I could see to where this would be very useful for hunters. Uh, if you're doing PRS style shooting, you can get into really weird positions really quickly and you don't need to make use of the tripod as a rear support if you got that uh, forehand extended out farther. It's, it's surprising how steady it is just resting the forehand and sitting on your, on your tail. You can just hold the rifle up uh, in your shoulder and get very steady with that thing, plenty enough to engage targets out to a thousand meters. It's actually surprising when you lay behind it. If you ever get a chance to see one of these or if you ever see somebody using one, go ahead and ask them if you can lay down behind it and just look through the optic. Uh, pick out pick out an object out there and just look at it and, and uh, compare and contrast how that feels and how much more steady it is compared to a conventionally placed bipod. So that's where I think it's gonna take up a, a big it's way, way more fast to get on target with this thing, using this, and you don't have to carry a lot of extra items out there in the field uh, to make shift uh, some kind of steady position. It's very flexible. There's a lot of different things you can do with it. If you extend it beyond the length of the barrel or out to the end of the barrel, you can actually tie ropes on it and hang it from things if you need to. In a particular high, there's a lot of situations where you have to get over obstacles or brush or grass. It's not all ideal like on your range conditions in real life. So that's where I see this thing is shining is in real life use, or if you have to be real fast, 
or even in competition shooting where, where you have to transition between different targets and you don't want to mess around with your rear support getting it just perfect. This is where it shines. So don't think of this as some kind of bench rest item. Actually, that's where a guy might go towards something that's a lot more simple, but this thing is meant for fast field use, hence the name Fast Chassis. For more information, check out their website, and uh, it was an honor to be able to check these out. I'm sure you'll see a lot more of these in the future. I'm going to use this rifle quite a bit for uh, optics testing and for more reviews, and stay tuned, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Check out Rex Defense if you want long-range rifle training. Just go under the courses by date tab to see what we got going on. We got all kinds of stuff coming up and uh, we'd love to come meet you guys. May the Schwartz be with you all.